Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Um, today I'm going to be going through how to do some basic modelling and rendering that model. So what I've chosen is a glass and um, a, a glass of water. So I'm going to render the water and the actual glass. So just to get started, what I'm going to do is draw a sketch on the front plane and sorry, top plane, and I'm going to draw the um, glass basic outline. So a very basic shape, and I'm just going to put some tims on it. So I'll make that one uh, one twenty, and make that fifty because I'm going to revolve it and make that thirty five to fully define the sketch. So from there, I'm going to go to features. I'm going to revolve, and the axis of revolution is obviously the middle. So from there, because this is obviously a glass, I'm going to shell it. So if I go up to shell, I'm going to shell it two mil thick. Take that. So now it's starting to look a bit like a basic glass. In fact, I might make make the angle a bit sharp. So I'm going to edit my sketch and make that probably edit my sketch and probably make that twenty five. That's a bit better. Yeah. So now from there, I'm this body that I've created is the glass. So now I need to create the water. So what I'm going to do is use this sketches sketches reference. Sure, but I'm going to draw. Oops, not edit. I want to to click the eye and show it. So I'm going to use this sketch as a reference. So what I'm going to do is create another sketch on the top plane, like I started with. And I'm going to just cut use the the reference sketch and copy this. And then, so I'm I want this so I'm drawing the body for the water. So what I'm going to do is make the water 15 mil from the top. To oh, need to make it parallel to the other sketch. And then from there, I'm going to do an offset of two mil, the same thickness of the glass. I'm going to do the same for the bottom as well, so I shouldn't have made that coincident. That's my bad. So because the glass obviously has thickness, what I need to do is create two mil off from the base as well. And I'll just trim that back. So because I've uh, got rid of the relation with the trim, it's gone blue but now it's fully defined again so from there that's how full my glass is going to be so just to give you an idea um where i've drawn that so if i just go to highlight the top plane as you can see it's sat in the cup so i'm going to use the, i'm going to hide my original first sketch exit this one and then i'm going to revolve uh, the axis of revolutions the middle again but instead of, this is the difference, instead of um, merging the result, what you want to do is untick that. So you've got two solid bodies in the same part. And when that happens, you can apply different properties to them. So now, as you can see, I can, I've can i got this folder of solid bodies has come up. And I've got two distinctive solid bodies. So what I'm just going to quickly do is put a few niceties on the on the glass. So let's put a red... Um, Fill it on there, five mil probably. So now I've got two solid bodies um, that I want to render. So from there, what I'm going to do is go over to the appearances, scenes, and decals tab. Let's drag it down so I can see everything. And I want appearances. So there's a folder by default called glass. So if I click on glass, what type of glass do I want? this to be so i'm going to cut i'm going to make this clear thick glass so i'm going to i've dragged it from the color palette over to the glass that sorry the body that i want to be the glass and it's and then it comes up with these options do i want the face to be glass the feature the body or the part so the whole part is the whole file which i don't want it to be so what i'm going to do is just drag that over again and, and call it the body so now the body has 
the that feature applied and that color decal applied. So I'm going to do the same now for the water. Go back to that. So I'm going to, so I'm going to go down to organic water and I'm going to make it 2D still water. And I'm going to, same again. I've just dragged it onto that body and I'm going to click body. So now as you can see that's this is how the part looks without rendering. So I was originally going to make this orange juice, but I think water will look better in the render. But if you did want to make it orange juice, you just go to organic and orange juice is there. But I'm going to stick with uh, 2D still water. So now this is just some basic colouring. So from there, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to render this. So if you go to your little cog here, go to the drop down options and drop down options and go to add ins. And then I want to photo view 3D. So this is your photorealistic rendering add-on. So I'm going to tick that, press OK. And then that should bring up render tools. So I've right clicked on the tabs and I want render tools. So now render tools it has appeared. So from there, they're all grayed out at the minute. So that means I need to change my settings. So I'm going to change it to uh, real graphics view. And then double check my add-ons actually worked because I don't think it has. Add-ins. So I must have not ticked that properly. So I'm going to tick that again. So now, as you can see, it's um, the options are highlighted now and I can actually use them. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can use a preview rent render window, just an integrated preview. So that means this window just shows you what it'll look like if you render it. So from there, I'm just going to, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you integrated. You can add cameras, turn perspective view on. Uh, but this is just a very, I'm not going to go into great detail about the render tool. So I've gone into, so now it's showing me an, an integrated render of the glass. So now I can, if I'm, once I'm happy with my picture, so if I just stop moving it, it should fully render, which it has done. So what I'm going to do is click final render and it'll create a JPEG. So now I've, I've just clicked on final uh, render and it's coming up. And now I can save this image preview or save this image and export it and that is it's still still rendering now you can see it putting all the finer detail on but that is the basics and i do a bit of modeling assigning detail and rendering in solidworks i hope you found this video helpful if you have please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching